Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, back in Forza Horizon 5. Last time out, the Oldsmobile Toronado took the lead at the Hilltop Rally Stage. It's front-wheel drive, but it's got 800 horsepower, so that's how it won. It beat a Holden Toronto that was half its weight. This car weighs 4,700 pounds, and it still took the lead, and that's just how composed it is because of its weight. And now we're gonna like look at this 4,600 pounds. We're gonna have another go, but this time we are going to use the Ford Mustang Mach 1, which was added in a bit later. So, didn't get the chance to run alongside the regular Mustangs. So, we're gonna give it the chance this time around. I don't expect this car is going to win, but I want to give it a fair shot. I'm gonna reset default upgrades because I have no idea what tune I had on before. This car starts out in C class, and the Oldsmobile started in D class. I think that's how the Oldsmobile uh, was able to do so well. Uh, this dice has the Pro Charger option and the Supercharger. We're gonna have to come back to that, I think. Yeah, Oldsmobile just had so much PI to play with, and it just legitimately didn't care about the weight. In fact, I think the weight was actually beneficial to it. It's not usually the case. You normally want less weight, but for that car, it made it stable. Uh, as much as the stock wing is awesome, we're going to want the downforce. Likewise, I this is like the only car, one of the only cars in the games where... You know, getting the upgraded actually looks the same, just better. Uh, do I want to go for a wacky hood? If I have a free point to spare, I'll probably add one. Let's go to the brakes. And get stage one of that. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need full roll cage. I'll put it in for now. Weight reduction, we found out last time that it really doesn't matter. We want power. The gearbox, we're going to go for a sport transmission. And go for the rally diff as well. And now, what do we do? Do we just chuck power? Uh, let's go for some force induction. The wiser choice would be to go for the centrifugal supercharger. It's just three horsepower down, but it saves like eight PI, so pretty good there. We may not get as much torque, but it's a seven liter V8. We don't need too much help with torque. In fact, it's bigger than that. It's a 7.5 liter. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I could stop it there. 500 horsepower, 550 foot-pounds of torque. I can get a little bit more, I think, by going for the intercooler upgrades, as well as the oil. I'm trying to think if that would be worth it to go for any cams because it's a pro charger. It likes the revs, you know. I'm going to try that. So we're going to reset the engine tune by doing that. Give the pro charger back. And then rev. And then pro charger. Dang. Uh, one stage left revs. There we go. That works. And we won't have exhaust upgrades, but we will have uh, a higher revving V8 that can make use of its Pro Charger a little bit better. 
And this car actually doesn't get the four-speed drift gearbox. That's interesting. I don't I don't know why that would be. Uh, what should say our speed is? Yeah, we're going to want to tune our gears because that's a pretty high speed. So we're going to leave the sport gearbox in. We are ready to go with our Ford Mustang Mach 1. So 4,000 pounds, 550 horsepower, 500 or 600 foot-pounds of torque. It's not bad. It's a pretty high revving motor. And, you know, we are fairly high in the rev range for most of the lap. So we should, in theory, have a good balanced uh, motor here. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to have the same level of composure as the Oldsmobile from before. But, you know, we can give it our all. I'm going to stiffen up the sway bars a bit because it is a heavy vehicle. It's not anywhere near as heavy as uh, the Oldsmobile, but putting it up to 30 stiffness should be good. We are already sitting at 10 inches of ride height, so that's perfect. I'm going to lower front spring stiffness and raise rear. We're a little bit more balanced that way. And we're going to max out our aerodynamics just like before. Even though we're not going too fast, it supposedly does something. Just even out the differential a little bit more. And that is our Ford Mustang Mach 1 ready to go onto the Hilltop Rally Stage. How many of these do you have to smash for an objective, I wonder? I didn't even look. Uh, I have no idea. The Ascari is back though, so that's cool. Let's head up to the Hilltop Rally stage. Now it took a hot minute for the Rally stage to load last time around. And I think I figured it out. Hopefully, we'll find out. I may have to spam, like, my start menu or something. As for why it does that, I have no idea. If we change rival, change filter. There we go. It's working now. I have no idea why it wasn't working before. We have a top 1,000 muscle car with the stock engine. The stock engine is very much not the way to go if you want a leaderboard time for the Tornado. But that's what we got. Comparing it to the olds that we just ran, direct side by side right here, you got 300 less horsepower and torque. Hmm. But we weigh 600 pounds less. I'm not sure that's going to be enough of a difference, though. And yeah, you can just see here that the olds with the LS swap is probably the way to go. Uh, all right, let this begin. Mustang Mach 1, it is. Because I am still fairly re-familiarizing myself with the track, we will do six laps here. Instead of the previous uh, incarnation of the series with five laps. We will, we will bring it back down to five after I'm used to the track again, though. This car's got some push in the corners. I'm not sure how I like that. And a bit of oversteer out of them. Now, of course, the olds, I could just be f totally flat through all these corners. Like, all I had to do is downshift for this. I didn't even need to hit the brakes. To be fair, I didn't need to hit the brakes there either with this car. This car's got a bit of slide in it, even without any weight reduction, to help keep it planted. 
Yeah, we are a long way back, I think. Now, the olds did go deep into this corner, but then it's able to pull away with 850 horsepower. And we all are going to have to keep the revs very high because we have a pro charger. I probably should have gone with a standard supercharger to make sure that we have revs below or torque below 5,000. This is working pretty good though. We're not a mile behind the olds, but we're not anywhere near as close as when the olds was fighting the Toronado or the Toronto Holden. I should have downshifted there. We don't have that extra punch down low that the olds will have. I remember the old 442 in Horizon 4 was also very stable. And that ran with a Pro Charger, I think. So I don't know how this Pro Charger setup is not working as well. We have a 7.5 liter V8, but that's got an 8.2 liter V8. So it's going to have more torque, regardless. I turned in too much. Yeah, that's an awful line by me. My bad. The old takes a very tall line up there. You see that? And get a more straight shot through here. It gets very close to the wall. It's not a very ideal line, I don't think. And that bump there is unsettling cars differently from how I remember. And that turn from the old, I don't think was perfect either. The problem is this car just doesn't have the composure to just keep it totally flat like the old scan. Even revving it out a bit there. Not able to keep up the torque up the hill. It is a tough ask trying to get, you know, a 7 liter to do the same work as an 8 liter. So I get that. It's going to be harder to bring itself up the hill. And now that we got, I guess, the tires warmed up or used to the circuit again, we're not too far back when it comes to that, to that section. But then the olds can just pull away with 850 horsepower. You see, I'm not sure I wanted to shift down there because I think we would have just been at the very, very top of second. Oh, what? That's not fair. I mean, I don't think it matters that olds are just too composed. Which, you know, is a thing you want. I'm not sure you want almost 5,000 pounds a car, but that's how you get lap speed in this car by or in this series. You got to stay composed, you got to stay predictable, and you got to be able to take all these turns flat out. I can to a degree, but then I just can't make it up elsewhere. The Oldsmobile is going to stay number one, but the Mach 1, it got pretty close. It's not a bad car. I just think it doesn't have enough points to play around with. If they could get more power, then that would probably be the way to go. As it stands, starting in mid C class is just too high starting PI for this series. You gotta have low C class or even D class to be at the top. That's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the Mustang Mach 1, the very rare car, I might add, having a go up the mountain. You can leave a like. Favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gamboya. I'll see you all in the future.